hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie if you're new here and there is a two-year-old little boy that will probably be running around um, in the background. That is my son. His name is Jaden. All right and today we are going to be getting into my June 2020 BoxyLux box and I am so excited to be opening it. Obviously I already took a sneak peek. If you guys are new here um, you guys should just know that if I get anything mystery or if I get a box in, I just, I gotta take a look. I am not a girl who can wait. Like, I need to know when I get it. So, I already took a sneak peek in here, but Boxy Charm or Boxy Lux is a quarterly box that they do, and this costs $50. They have their base box, which is $25 a month, and they also have their Boxy Charm Premium, which is $35 a month. And then this one's 50 every three months. And this replaces your base box for that month, if that makes sense. I'll leave a link down below to all the BoxyCharm things. But, all right, let's go ahead and open it. So when I open it, this is what it looks like right there. Oh, I feel like I'm running out of breath. Okay. And this month, it is BoxyCharm the oasis cute cute and then on the back here it just gives a little description of all the items in your box the price for it and then it also tells you the variation right there is that the variation no where is the variation oh i was covering it i was <laughs> showing you guys the wrong thing so i got variation eight right there all right, so let's go ahead and dig on in here. So the first thing I'm pulling out is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Tardiest Pro Palette. So that is what that looks like right there. Open it up to show y'all the palette. And I've heard a lot of good things. I've watched a lot of other unboxings and people have nothing but like the best things to say about it. It's a little dirty because I opened it before to look at it. So that's what the palette looks like right there sleek, cute, I love it. Was it this messy when I opened it the first time? It looks like something broke in here. Alright, and these are what the colors look like. If it'll focus. Okay, y'all can see that. Very pretty, very neutral. Um, definitely can be for an everyday type of palette. So yeah, not sure if I wanna keep this yet or not. I don't know, we shall see, or if I'm just gonna pass it along. But yeah, I don't know. So I'm not gonna touch it until I decide, and then I'll touch it. <laughs> okay. And this palette retails for $49. The next thing I'm pulling out here is the Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. And that is what it looks like right there. And this product retails for $35. $35? Wow. And this is in the shade Light, which I was super bummed about. I know a lot of people got like a credit to their account to use for like their pop-up sale um, for not getting the right BB cream and honestly I would have just liked to get the right BB cream. They didn't even have this for sale for like was it add-ons or pop-up? I don't remember but they didn't have this for sale and it would have been nice to have this you know in the sale thing so I could get like the right one and I don't think because I don't know if I want to keep it or just give it to someone else. Because I could always use it in the winter time, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. The next thing we have here is the charcoal brush set. Bristles infused with charcoal for an anti-microbial -mic effect. If I said that right. That is what the box looks like right there. And this retails for $55. Wow. Alright. Just want to 
feel it. A lot of people were complaining about these brushes. Oh. This doesn't feel bad at all. A lot of people were saying that they were like white, white, light. <sighs> light, weight. There we go. Brushes. And they have a little bit of heft to them. And the bristles aren't like that bad. They're not shedding at all. I wonder why people were saying bad things about them then. I don't know. But there's five brushes in there. And again, retails for $55. The next thing I see here is the Pure Heels by Natural Village. And this is a sleeping mask. Okay. That's what the box looks like right there. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand before. This retails for $55. It's very heavy. There's a lot of product in here. 3.38 so that is what it looks like right there it looks like metal oh no it's glass it looks like honey that's what it looks like Ooh, I'm excited I'm gonna try this tonight well, I don't know, because my face has been freaking out. And I don't know if it's from wearing masks where we are. I live in Italy, and we still have to wear masks everywhere. I mean, the U.S. should have to, too. But we wear masks everywhere. And I feel like maybe the masks is what's making, like, the area around my mouth break out. But I have no idea. I have no idea. The next thing I see here is Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner. Oh, that was upstairs. I was like, what's that noise? That is what that looks like right there. And I've heard a lot of mixed things about this. Like, a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. I'm not really sure. I'm scared to try it because I don't want it to break me out. That is what it looks like. So, I don't know if I'm going to be passing this along or actually keeping it because... My face has already been through a lot lately, so yeah, I don't I don't know if I want to risk it. And this retails for $20, $24. The next thing I'm pulling out here, this was my choice item, and this is Lily Lashes Triple Mascara. Oh, I guess I should show y'all the product before I take it out. And that's what it looks like in the package. And this retails for $24, which I kind of feel like is um, like a good price point. I feel like a lot of higher end mascaras retail for that price. It's very lightweight. And that is what it looks like there. Again, I'm not going to open it just because I do have a lot of mascaras open right now. Again, I'm saying that like you guys have already seen my last video. Don't mind me. I'm just just here. All right. I can't get to close. Next thing was also a choice item and this is Swell, the water bottle. And this retails for $35. Let's see what I got. I was hoping to get like a solid colored one. Um that's what my bottle looks like. I mean, it's okay. I don't, I don't know. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or pass it along. But I was hoping, because I saw someone, I forget who I saw unbox it. Maybe it was just Ann. I don't remember. But someone I watched do their unboxing, they got just like a plain black swell bottle and that's kind of what I was hoping for and then I got this so there's that but yeah the next oh oh I only have one more thing this is by bodyography professional cosmetics two lip pencils that is what it looks like right there open oh okay I ripped it well, I'm going to keep them anyway because I love lip pencils. And 
nude. This is what it looks like here. Does it say the color? This is pouty. Yeah. It's kind of soft. So that's pouty right there. It's a pretty color. And this one is rosewood. So that's what that end of it looks like right there. If it'll focus, you gotta focus, you gotta focus. There we go. Okay, and that one is rosewood. Very pretty colors. I can get down with that. And that is actually it. So let me, okay, break out my handy dandy phone and let's add these up here so the kylie skin was 24 dollars the bb cream was 35 the mascara was 24 the tarte palette was 49 the water bottle was 35 the brush set was 55 the sleeping mask was 55 and the lip liners, lip pencils are 28. So my box comes out to $305. That is not a bad um, box for, I only paid 50 bucks for this box, so that's not bad at all. The only things I'm really, really skeptical about is this. And then I'm really upset that I got this, like the color in that, but oh yeah. And then not getting my shade in the BB cream really bummed me out because I was super excited for this product. This was the one product I was super excited about. And then they were like, hey, sorry, here's a $10 credit. And I was like, oh, thanks. That'll solve all my sorrows. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry, it's a little bit longer. Um, I know I rant and it takes me forever to like open items, but that's it. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and until next time. Bye guys.